All right. Uh, explosions heard in Iran. Uh, we're worried that uh, much larger uh, size war might break out uh, now. Uh, Israel had promised America that they were not going to do this. Hilarious. Of course, they're going to do whatever the hell they want. And America is going to rush on money uh, to start this gigantic war, it appears. But first, let me give you some of the details. And uh, as I do that, I, I always remind everybody, where without you guys, uh, we, we don't have a show. Uh, almost everyone in the media industry, in digital media, has gone under. Three more companies in serious trouble. One actually went bankrupt this week. Uh, thank you to all of our members for making this possible. Hit the join button below if you can to help out. You could also upgrade through there. We appreciate all you guys. I'll try to give you guys shout outs during the video as I always do on the live ones. All right, let's get started. So it looks like an uh, area that is uh, northwest of Isfahan, which is one of the major cities in uh, Iran, a very large explosion was heard. Iranian airspace uh, it looks like is getting closed down. Uh, eight flights have already been diverted from there. Um, Force, which is the uh, Iran's news agency, says the city of uh, Gajawarstan is located near Isfahan Airport and the eighth hunting base of the Army Air Force. So meaning that uh, they might have hit the Iranian Air Force. Um, so when you have large uh, explosions at or near an Iranian Air Force, it's not likely to be Norway or Nigeria or Thailand. It's likely to be Israel. But we don't know for sure yet. And obviously we give you updates as we go along. And, I, and also... You all know we give you all the details uh, on the live show Monday through Friday at 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube.com slash The Young Turks. So tomorrow at 6 o'clock Eastern, we'll give you every detail there is on this. But now let me tell you more. So um, the background on this is really important because um, we just covered a story on the show today. That's why I'm still in the suit and everything. We just got off the live show a little while ago. And, uh, and we're... Uh, apparently Biden, uh, in his own mind, had made a deal, according to the New York Times, with Israel. Go ahead and uh, invade uh, Rafa. And um, they're already in Gaza, right? But this is the last city where they're going to go in and where there's over a million Palestinians there. And they're going to decimate the city. And Biden's basically greenlighting it, but saying, okay, but we're going to make an exchange. But don't bomb Iran because that, you know... And then we'll send you the twenty-six billion. Used to be fourteen billion. Now all of a sudden, Mike Johnson, whose number one donor is APAC, is saying, "Oh, let's make it twenty-six billion. And Democrats are like, "Yes!" I mean, we care so much about Palestinian lives. I mean, we want to avoid a wider regional war, but give Israel more money. So both the Republicans and the Democrats, the Uniparty, totally agreeing. War is awesome. The neocons are back. The Republicans are neocons. The Democrats are neocons. You saw me give credit to Biden after Iran launched when he said he would not back uh, Iran's if Israel tried to uh, go and do an offensive strike uh, against uh, Iran. But if it turns out, A, Netanyahu didn't listen to him, and B, Biden gives him the $26 billion anyway, which is definitely going to happen. There's a 0% chance that Biden would ever take away so all they'll ever do is give them more and more, kill and kill and kill, start bigger wars, uh, 33,000 people dead isn't enough, a million starving Palestinians isn't enough, hit them in their last uh, remaining city where all the refugees are, hit Iran, and don't worry, the American treasury is open to you. We can't afford universal health care, we can't afford paid family leave, we can't afford anything for Americans. But if Israel would like to start a giant war, we apparently all have to pay for it here in America. So I think that they're messing with, uh, with things that are going to get outside their con control at some point. Because I know the right wing's sick of it, and I know the left wing's sick of it. So I know the uniparty's like, rah, rah, rah. You know that over 80% of Democrats still are against a ceasefire in Congress? It's just, both parties are disgusting. So are they going to call out, if these are Israeli strikes against Iran, which is a disastrous idea. Remember, this started with Israel hitting a consulate, which is the same as Iranian soil, in Syria. It's a brazen attack. And the story today was, oh, Israel forgot to tell America they thought it was no big deal that they'd hit Iranian soil. And they told them just a little bit before the strike. America flips out. They're like, what are you doing? That's a big deal. Don't do that. They're like, ha ha, 
going to do it anyway. Boom. Press the button. They hit Iran. And then Iran does a, a, a campaign that is ineffectual back. And they did it on purpose to be ineffectual. Today, they were bragging about how ineffectual it was. They said, now, remember, we launched with a lot of advanced warning. They had given 72-hour warning, basically, to Israel, America, the Arab countries, saying, we are sending drones, and it will also take several hours for them to arrive, and ballistic and cruise missiles, and not a single person got hurt in Israel. So Biden, again, as I gave him credit, said, hey, hey, oh, that's enough, that's enough. You guys hit him. They retaliated in a very weak way. Zero people hurt. Meanwhile, Israel and their strike killed seven of their top commanders, including their top general. So Israel already way ahead in how many people they've killed as usual and how badly they hit Iran as usual. But they can never leave well enough alone because Netanyahu is not just the Israeli prime minister. He's a neocon right-wing zealot who loves war and thinks war is the answer to everything. The fact that we're sending him gobs of our taxpayer money a guy who's Dick Cheney on steroids, and for a foreign government, unconscionable, especially if they started this war. First of all, Marco Zambrano, thank you for joining, brother. Appreciate it. Happy Warrior. Thank you for the super chat, and thank you for saying great debate that I did uh, yesterday in D.C. with against Prager and et cetera. So uh, now let me give you what the Iranians are saying before the strike. Uh, they said that uh, if Israel takes action, Iran's response will be immediate and at a maximum level. So no more playing around, no more sending drones that take hours to get there, no more 72-hour notice. We're going to get right into the middle of a giant war if this is actually an Israeli strike. So, look, I don't know anyone other than who are people who are massively biased or work in the American government. That's for Israel's right-wing government anymore. I don't know a single person. Because what kind of a lunatic would be like, yeah, I think it's a great idea that Israel, in order to, uh, like, defend itself, murder 30 times the number of civilians that Hamas did. How's that self-defense? And guys, you have nukes. You have 2,000-pound bombs. You have jets. The Palestinians have almost nothing. What, what are you talking about? Defend yourself. And at six months in, you're still defending yourself. Literally no one believes that. No one in their right mind believes that. And so now you're going to start a giant war with Iran, which Bibi Netanyahu has wanted to start for decades now. In 2002, there's a speech of him in Congress. He telling us, hey, start the Iran war. I told you I started already. He's been dying to start this war and have us pay for it and have our troops fight it on his behalf. Hell no should be our answer. But almost everybody in Washington is bought and completely corrupt. And I'll back that up in a second. First of all, uh, Sam Wolodowski, thanks for being a member. Appreciate you guys. With that, look, guys, why am I allowed to do actual reporting here that's honest and passionate about this? Why am I allowed to defend innocent Palestinian lives? Because of you guys. Because if you're a member, you allow me to do this without having to check with some corporate goon or some advertisers or some politicians. Oh, pretty please, can I criticize Israel just 5 or 10%? Please, please, please. No, I can criticize Israel all I like because you guys are my boss. And it's not about criticizing Israel at large or for existing or any of those things. What it is is right now we have a right-wing neocon government in Israel that says, I'm going to start multiple wars I'm going to kill tens of thousands of innocent civilians. I'm going to starve a million Palestinians. And now you're going to have to pay for all of it. Why? Guys, the answer is super obvious, unless you're corrupt. Okay? And I, yeah, I'm sorry, but if you're mainstream media and you're not reporting about the $100 million APAC is going to spend in this next election, in regards to these stories, not just generically, hey, I mentioned it once, but hey, why is Biden doing what he's doing? Why is... Mike Johnson and Hakeem Jeffries, why are they all doing what they're doing? Because of the money, Lebowski. It's so obvious. It's deeply embarrassing and humiliating if you're in mainstream media and you're not talking about the number one reason why American politicians defy the American people. The American people overwhelmingly want a ceasefire and the American politicians say, no. Why do you think that is? Because they think it's more moral to kill all those people? More moral to start a disastrous war that absolutely no one in America wants? No, because the largest donor Joe Biden has ever had in his career is APAC, $11.2 million. Mike Johnson's uh, top donor in this last campaign cycle, APAC. Hakeem Jeffries, leader of the Democrats in the House, 
he now says, I'm going to vote with Mike Johnson. The same guy they were calling MAGA Mike and a radical right winger. Now all of a sudden, Hakeem Jeffries says, he's got the entire Democratic Party's support. Why? Because he said not only $14 billion for Israel, $26 billion for Israel, total green light, bomb anyone you like, and America will pay for it. America second. And Hakeem Jeffries like, yes, where's my money? Joe Biden's like, yes, where's my money? If you say that $11 million isn't relevant, Hakeem Jeffries has taken over $300,000. If you say that's not relevant, that he doesn't care about his top donor, you're absolutely positively lying. Of course they care about their donors. All right, a couple of quick shout outs here. Uh, peace to all. Thank you for the super chat. No, I'm back in LA, brother. And uh, Abel L, uh, oh my God, your son wants to join the military. And you, uh, he says, and I'm going to do everything in my power to stop him. My kids will not go to war for Israel. No way. No, 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 no. If we're going to go and back Israel in an offensive war that we're starting in the Middle East with Iran being four times the size of Iraq, and then your kid wants to sign up and die for Israel, not even die for Israel, right? Die for a right-wing lunatic leader of Israel, who's basically one of the largest terrorists in the world, has killed 30 times the civilians that Hamas has killed. His civilian to military kill ratio is worse than Hamas. And your son's going to go die for that? Are you nuts? Tackle him, tie him up, put him in the basement. No, you. If if the um, if the monsters that run our government, Republicans and Democrats, say, as long as we keep taking money from APAC, we will send your kids and your money and everything you got to go fight Israel's war. No, nobody should sign up for the military. And soon we should start talking about people not paying their taxes if they go in this direction. So, let's see here. Um, Iran says flights to Tehran, Isfahan, and Shiraz are all suspended. This does not look good, guys. Giant explosions in Iran. Uh, it, I mean, let me reiterate one uh, important thing here, and then we'll give you guys updates if they happen throughout the day. Uh, remember, we just covered on the main show today, 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern every day, um, that Israel was pretending that they have a deal with Biden, that they are going to go and decimate the last standing city in Gaza as long as they don't start a war with Iran. And they were saying, oh, we'll wait till after Yom Kippur, which uh, is at the end of the April, right? Uh, first of all, that's so meaningless. Oh, I'll, I'll wait a couple of days before I start World War III is not an interesting concession. Uh, and I'll wait until my vacation is over is not an interesting concession. But it turns out it was all a lie anyway. So the New York Times, did you know you were reporting a lie? Uh, Joe Biden, did you know if it's, you were the one lied to? Which I don't believe. I think Joe Biden thinks everything Netanyahu's do doing is totally fine. Joe Biden's been a warmonger his whole life. He's a neocon in a lot of ways, and he voted for the Iraq war. So now supporting Israel in the new Iran war, new and improved, a much more disastrous war in the Middle East. Not at all surprised. Aaron, thank you for becoming a member. We appreciate it. You could hit the join button below. You could also upgrade through there. So um, at this point, if... You know, so we were, they theoretically were going to, were going to wait till after the Yom Kippur war. I guess that was all a head fake so that they could do the bombing tonight. And hey, thanks for the uh, assist, Joe Biden. Thanks for the assist, New York Times, while we pretended that we weren't going to start a disastrous war. Now, what is Iran going to do, guys? I know what the idiots in Washington will say. Oh, they should just surrender. Uh, the, the war's already over. They should just surrender. They should know that Israel can bomb them anytime they like. They can bomb their consulate. They can bomb their home soil. And, and when Iran strikes back and doesn't kill anyone, it doesn't matter. Uh, Israel can kill 10 people, 100 people, 200 people. It doesn't matter. Israel's allowed to start any war. Well, we don't agree. We don't agree. The American people don't agree. The left wing doesn't agree. The right wing doesn't agree. I don't want to pay for it. I don't want to have anything to do with it. If you want to go and you're an insane Israeli zealot, Israeli supporting zealot, and you say, yeah, of course we should fight Israel's war for it, and we should finance it, take all your money, and give it to Israel to start this war that's going to get millions of people killed, potentially, and, and we should all have pom-poms. No, 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 brother, you go. You go. You take all of your money and give it to Israel, and you go sign up at the IDF, and you go fight that war. But the rest of us don't want anything to do with it. We already went through this uh, stupid, stupid idea of attacking Middle East countries for no reason when they didn't attack us. And how did that turn out for us? We Several trillion dollars. We can't have paid family. We can't have student debt relieved. We can't have Medicare for all. We can't have anything good for the American people. But we 
lit several trillion dollars in a dumpster fire in Iraq, let alone Afghanistan. But who got rich? The defense contractors got rich. The oil companies got rich. Here we go again. Defense contractors, APAC, oil companies, bank speculators. They're all going to get rich at our expense. So if if Israel has launched this invasion or bombing campaign, and what is Iran going to do? Yes, the morons in Washington can go, no, they should, they should be our dogs and they should not fight back. Yes, but that's not how human beings work. You know what human beings do? They fight back. I know you think the Muslims should all bow down before mighty Israel and pledge their allegiance and love to Israel. And that's the only way they'll be spared by the of the bombings. But that's not how human beings work. That's not what they're going to do. If Israel did this strike and it causes a counter strike by Iran, it is an absolute epic disaster that's going to bring us in a war. And if Joe Biden goes and helps Israel with this war, I'm done with them. Don't tell me, oh, I started World War III, but the other guy's worse. The other guy's a monster and I hate him. But you don't get to start World War III and then tell me how bad the other guy is. And if you're in Washington, you're like, oh, that is terrible. You can't say that. What's a little World War III on Israel's behalf? It doesn't matter. Trump's so mean. Trump's worse. Look, I despise Trump. But if your argument is, I'm just a tiny bit better than Trump. Your argument already sucks. And then if you add to that argument, I would like to back Israel in starting World War III and making all of you pay the price. Your argument that you're better than Trump is not a very good one. And that's not me saying it. That's you doing it, Joe Biden. So where are you at? You said they should not. You said Israel should not attack offensively and that we would not help them if they did. I guarantee you that Joe Biden's a liar. And that what he'll do is, yes, sir, absolutely, Netanyahu, sir. How much money would you like to, us to send? They haven't sent the $26 billion yet. Good. Now that you started uh, this giant war, then we're not going to send it, right? No way. I guarantee you Joe Biden's on the phone right now going, hey, hey pass the bill. Pass the bill. Hurry up. Hurry up. American people are going to get super pissed. Send Israel $26 billion. I mean, I am wagging my finger and giving them stern words, a very, very stern conversation with Netanyahu. Get out of here, man. This, if any, t look, prove me wrong. I would be so thrilled if you proved me wrong. If Joe Biden said, that's it, I told him not to do this. I'm not, uh, I'm not signing that bill with the 26 billion to Israel. Then I say, hats off to you. My God, I was wrong. God bless Joe Biden. He's a man of character and fortitude and actually fought for the American people and not some right-wing government in a foreign country just because they bribed him. I mean, gave him campaign contributions of $11 million. Okay, I'm, so it's, it's not me. Joe Biden will get to decide. That action is in the future. And if he does uh, the thing that the American people want, then I'll give him credit. But my guess is he's going to go right back to ass-kissing posture and going to send Israel the check right away before the American people get super pissed about this war that he's helping them start. All right, shout-outs. Uh, Hilda De, Le De Leon, thank you for becoming a member. Um, and I don't know if you did it twice or if you upgraded, but thank you. Uh, Neo Ultrascon, um, you're absolutely right. Iran gave the world an off ramp, yet here we are. By not bombing too aggressively, by giving us advance notice, Iran was basically saying, we don't want a war. And what did we do? No. Now it looks like Israel is saying, no, how clear did we have to be? We do want a war. And we will make America fight it for us. So, by the way, uh, Iran's air defense systems now have been activated in several provinces. Uh, this is CNN reporting. Um, so here we go. Here we go. Everybody buckle up. Uh, we might be on to a disastrous war we cannot get out of. But uh, America should not fight it. This is not our war. And Israel started it. This is insanity to back this super aggressive, violent, civilian killing, right-wing neocon government in a different country. They are not us. We don't have any special relationship with them where we have to go fight all their wars. For what? For what? What the hell have they ever done for us other than get us into all of these endless wars? No deal.
All right, guys, we'll give you more updates as we go. And uh, Malarby Sanitas, uh, thank you for being a member. Appreciate you guys. Look at how strong and brave we can be in saying things that are true, all because of you guys. You make that possible. Thank you.